Hello everyone and welcome to a glass M school. Today we are going to discuss a solution for chapter 9 of NCERT class 7 science book. So friends, chapter 9 is about soil, its types and properties. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter at a glance. When we are talking about soil, soil is the uppermost crust that covers the earth surface which is a mixture of rock particles and humus. Now if we talk about the formation of soil, then the soil can be formed either by physical, chemical or biological weathering otherwise called as disintegration of the bigger rocks. In physical weathering, the bigger rocks are disintegrated by physical agents like water, ice, winds, etc. Similarly, chemical disintegration is caused due to chemical decomposition of the bigger rocks. And if we talk about the biological weathering, then it is caused by microorganisms like bacteria who decomposes the bigger rocks and turns them into soil. Now, if we talk about types of soil, then considering the composition, soil is of three types, clay soil, loamy soil and sandy soil. Clay soil consists of soil particles that are less than 0.2 mm in diameter. So, this type of soil have excellent air circulation and water retention capacity. Loamy soils are nothing but a good mixture of sand, clay and humus. They also have excellent air circulation and excellent water retention capacity. Sandy soil consists of 60% of sand and rest are clay. The particles in sandy soil are between 0.2 to 2 mm diameter. Therefore, this type of soil have very low water retention capacity and are not much fertile. Different soils are used to cultivate different types of crops like loamy and clay soils are perfect for growing wheat, paddy and gram whereas sandy loam soil is suitable for growing cotton. Now if we talk about percolation, percolation is the process in which water slowly passes through the soil and percolation rate is the speed at which the movement occurs. The formula to calculate the percolation rate is percolation rate that is milliliter per minute is equal to amount of water in ml by percolation time in minutes. So friends this was all in this chapter now let's move to the solutions. The first question of this exercise is tick the most suitable answer in question 1 and 2. In addition to the rock particles, the soil contains 1. Air and water, 2. Water and plants, 3. Minerals, organic matter, air and water or 4. Water, air and plants. And the answer to it will be 3. Minerals, organic matter, air and water. Now let's move to question number 2. The water holding capacity is highest in 1 sandy soil, 2 clay soil, 3 loamy soil or 4 mixture of sand and loam. Now moving to question number 3, match the items in column 1 with those in the column 2 and the answer you can see on the screen right now. Now moving to question number 4, explain how soil is formed and the answer to it is Soil is the thin layer of material covering the earth surface and is formed from the weathering of rocks it is made up of mainly of mineral particles, organic materials, air, water and living organisms, all of which blend slowly yet steadily. Moving to question number 5, how is clay soil useful for crops? And the answer to it is, clay soil have very small sized particles. These particles are packed tightly and therefore can retain water. It is also rich in organic matter for growing crops like wheat, gram and paddy the soil should be good at retaining water and rich in organic matter. Therefore, having this characteristics, clay soil is useful for such kind of crops. Now moving to question number 6, list the difference between clay soil and sandy soil. And the answer to it is, 1. The proportion of fine particle is higher, whereas in sandy soil, the proportion of large particle is higher. 2. Particles are packed tightly in clay soil, whereas Particles are loosely packed in sandy soil. Third, it can hold good amount of water, so water doesn't drain quickly. But in sandy soil, its ability of retaining water is low. As a result, water drains quickly. Fourth, it is heavy in weight, whereas sandy soils are light in weight. Fifth, in clay soil, less air is trapped between the particles, whereas in sandy soil, more air is trapped between the particles. Sixth, 
clay soils are rich in humus whereas sandy soils are not rich in humus now students let's see question number 7 sketch the cross section of soil and level the various layers and the diagram you can see on your screen right now moving to question number 8 Rajya conducted an experiment in the field related to the rate of percolation she observed that it took 40 minutes for 200 ml of water to percolate through the soil sample. Calculate the rate of percolation. Percolation rate is equal to quantity of water divided by time taken to percolate. Percolate rate is equal to 200 by 40 is equal to 5 ml per minute. So it took only 1 minute to percolate 5 ml of water. Now let's move to question number 9. Explain how soil pollution and soil erosion can be prevented. And the answer to it will be to prevent soil pollution its cause must be controlled. Plastics and polythene bags destroy the fertility of soil. Hence they should be disposed properly and if possible their use should be avoided. 3. Some waste products from industries and homes pollute soil. These pollutants should be treated chemically to make them harmless before they are disposed. 4. Other pollutants of soil include pesticides and insecticides. Therefore, excessive use of these substances should be avoided. Now moving to question number 10. Solve the crossword puzzle with the clues given below. And as per the clues, you can see the solved puzzle on your screen right now. So friends, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked this video and if you did, then do not forget to like it and share it with your friends and do subscribe our channel for more such videos. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye.